Want to become a top listing agent? Then stay tuned for this conversation because that's exactly what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you tips and advice on how to become a top listing agent super fast. Hey there, Shadi Bazzi here and welcome to our YouTube channel where the majority of the conversations we have here revolve around how to become a top listing agent. Look, I've been in this industry for well over 25 years, been on over 30,000 one-on-one coaching calls, conducted hundreds of podcast episodes, and from all these conversations, all these experience, what I've put together for you today are the top nine things, the best nine pieces of advice that I could give you so you could build a top listing agent business. So grab a pen, grab a paper, and let's get going number one the most important thing that you need the most important element the most important pillar the most important why let's call it is to connect your why to your business why did you get involved in the real estate business what were your dreams what were your hopes what were your aspirations what were your goals what is it that you wanted to accomplish time freedom money freedom travel freedom etc 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 how connected are you to that vision of why you got involved in the business on a daily basis and i know this is like a boring conversation everybody tells you you got to have the right mindset and you know you got to have a purpose and you got to have a passion and you gotta look there's a reason why everybody is telling you that and i'm telling you right now if you are not feeling like you are being ripped out of bed every single morning with excitement and enthusiasm to go out there to find people that you could help and find people that you could serve then you're really not as connected to your why you're not really connected to your purpose and if we take a look at all the top producing agents whether buyers agent listing agents or just top agents in general all across the country each and every single one of them they're highly energetic highly enthusiastic very driven very hungry very purposeful and the reason being and they will tell you this it's because they have connected the vision to the heart and that's what gets them into action every single day so that's advice number one connect your why to your business piece of advice number two is work out of a business plan i cannot tell you how many agents i speak to from all over the country that really do not have a business plan and or have like a 17 page business plan that they put together at the end of last year going into this year that they never go back to it well i think the main reason why they never go back to that business plan is simply because it's too detailed it's too lengthy it has too many things in it that are so far out of sight that there's nothing compelling about taking action on it so they put it in their drawer and they forget about it and they never go back to it now most top agents what they did is they simplified the process and what they did is they created like a one page business plan so simplify the process into a one page business plan and if you're not working out of a plan then you've heard the quote then you're really planning to fail so your plan should include the following hey what is my income goal for the year all right i figured out the income goal reverse engineer that how many people do i need to serve in order for me to reach that goal how many of those people are have to be are going to be buyers how many of those are going to be sellers by the way where are those buyers going to come from where are those sellers going to come from you outline that into your one page business plan all right how many people how many appointments do i need to go on all right how many people do i need to schedule uh, or speak to in order for me to get that many appointments hey what systems do i need to put in place guys this is all on one page okay i'll give you an example i'm going to run you through this right now if it were me let's say my income goal is to make a hundred thousand dollars this year therefore i have to sell 20 homes in order for me to make that happen all right now the next question is achieving this goal would allow me to there you go the why the purpose achieving this goal would allow me to you know pay off my debts achieving this goal would allow me to take a family vacation achieving this goal would allow me to invest in real estate achieving this goal would allow me this and that okay in order for me to achieve this goal 
I must put the following systems in place. A for sale by owner system, an expired system, a past client center of influence system, an open house system, a farming system, etc. All I'm doing, I'm not systemizing the business right now. All I'm doing is outlining in my business plan what systems do I plan to put in place. Okay, in order for me to achieve this goal, what skills do I need to develop? I need to develop skill A, B, C, D, E. See, I'm, that's my plan is to acquire that skill. In order for me to achieve this goal, these are the non-negotiable things I got to do every single day. What are the three to five most important things you got to do every single day, no matter what? in order for you to reach this goal i need to speak to that many people i need to follow up for that much time i need to you know create specific marketing pieces etc guys that's it just one page business plan after you create that one page business plan what do you do you break it down into just what part of that plan are we going to bring to life in the next 90 days in the next quarter and i'm telling you guys advice etc work in 90 day cycles however when you begin a 90 day cycle make sure you complete a 90 day cycle don't just do something for one week and try it out see if it's going to work or not it's probably not going to work not everybody hits the jackpot right away work in 90 day cycles third piece of advice know your marketplace better than anyone else in the marketplace why should a seller choose to list their home with you why should a buyer allow you or give you the opportunity to negotiate on their behalf how well do you know your marketplace by the way if you knew your marketplace better than the way you currently know your marketplace right now would you have more confidence talking to people you and i both know the answer is yes would you be taking more actions than you are right now yes would you be less in your head and more in action the answer is yes so the question is what is it that you are doing to study your marketplace every single day if i asked you the question right now how many month of inventory do we have right now hey you know what is the average sell price to list price in this marketplace do you know hey what is how many days do homes sit on the market etc what is the median home price in this area etc by the way how many homes go on the market and not sell every single month how like these are all very important details and, and you know we take it a step further than that like knowing the demographics of your marketplace how many high schools how many elementary schools how many private schools you know freeways construction what is happening in the marketplace the less you know about the marketplace the less confidence you have the more you know about the marketplace the more confidence you have and i'm telling you when you are on an appointment whether it's with a buyer or a seller it's a transfer of energy so are you transferring positive confident energy to where people begin to place their trust in you immediately or are you not so get to know your marketplace better than anyone else in the marketplace next point i put in here organize your database i cannot tell you how many people i speak to who are like i've been in the business for five years i've been in the business for 10 years okay do you have a database no i have an excel spreadsheet or do you have a database yes i do but it's not organized uh how much repeat and referral business do you get not as many as i would like or not as many as i thought i can why not well because my database is a mess guys let me tell you something this is the most important system and the most neglected system in real estate organize your database think to yourself right now how many man hours is it going to take me if i sit down from start to finish in order for me to you know organize and systemize that database so i can get repeat and referral business how long is that going to take 10 hours 15 hours plug those hours into your calendar get that done in the next seven days 24 hours is even better if you can why because i'm reminded of a conversation not not a conversation a client i worked with by the name of scott here in orange county probably about 10 15 years ago when scott came to me he was in the business for approximately 15 years the guy was an amazing human being and an amazing real estate rock star already earning about three hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year which is a great income qualifies him as a top producer and he's been in the business for 15 20 years however he had a very disorganized almost non-existing database of past clients and centers of influence so what we did is we focused that was our number one primary focus is let's clean up the mess and that's exactly what we did and within 12 months scott took his income 
from $350,000 or $375,000 to $750,000. And the primary reason is because we organized the database, we systemized the database, we created a better relationship with the people in the database, and all of a sudden, repeat and referral business was like clockwork created the steady flow of leads you can have the same thing so maybe you're brand new perfect time to build up that database and grow it and nurture it and and have that discipline and that cleanliness and organization in your business so that's point number whatever point that was the next point the next piece of advice is stay consistent with lead generation stay consistent with lead generation you ask anybody, like, how are you consistently taking listings? How are you consistently opening up escrows and closing sales? How is your income more consistent than it is for most people who are living the commission roller coaster in the business? It's because they are consistent in lead generation. What is it that you are going to do every single day? I'm talking about every single work day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever days you work. What is it that you're gonna do every single day in order for you to keep filling up the pipeline next to that i put down the following i said know your daily target number know your daily target number remember back to the business plan in order for me to achieve the goal how many new people must i have a conversation with every single day look if i take a look at all the clients that i'm working with right now in our listings on demand top listing agent training for some people it's every 20 people they speak to they're on an appointment for some for every 30 people they are speaking to they're closing a sale and for some it's for every 75 80 90 or 100 people they speak to to generate an actual appointment it's different for every single person and that varies on two things number one how consistent they are in making the calls every single day or doing whatever lead generation they do and number two their skill level I don't know where you're at I don't know what your number is going to be but you gotta have a minimum standard work out of a minimum standard so know your daily number a number with no ends no ifs no buts it's gonna get done no matter what next work out of a schedule not out of an appointment book look you're gonna plug your appointments in your schedule I get that okay and then that doesn't necessarily make it a schedule a schedule is something that says i am doing a every single day to get in the zone to get my energy up to build up my skills i am doing b in order for me to better connect with the people on my database in order for me to find more leads to set more appointments my schedule says between this hour and this hour i'm following up on my leads and my pipeline and my schedule says between this time and that time you're working on the administrative side of the business and between this time and that time is what you have open for possible appointment opportunities that's how you operate a business and i'm telling you if you're not going to do that you're going to be the agent that's working you know five six seven days a week you know eight nine ten fifteen hours a day and doing a deal every single month or less on average don't let that be you create a solid schedule to where you are doing the most important things between specific hours every single day no matter what and allotting a couple of hours every single day for possible appointment opportunities negotiations etc next piece of advice i put down right here is develop your communication skill again been in this industry for a very long time been on over 30,000 one one-on-one coaching calls, worked with thousands of agents from all over the country, and I can't believe how many people, 5, 10, 15 years in the business, ask me the question of like, how do I handle this objection? And I'll be like, when was the first time you got that objection? Well, first time I got that objection was the first year in the business. And how many years you've been in the business? I've been in the business for 10 years. I go, why'd you wait 10 years to ask the question of how do I better communicate the way I handle that objection? Look, there's only a specific amount of objections that buyers and or sellers can possibly give you. There's only a specific amount. Know what they are and then learn what to say, when to say it, and how to say it. 
Easy peasy. If you need help with that, by the way, what I want you to do is leave a comment below and let me know what objection you hate the most that you want to learn how to crush. And I'll point you in the right direction and help you out with that. So I put down, develop your communication skills, know what to say, when to say it, and more importantly, how to say it. Next piece of advice, win the morning in order for you to win the day. You want to have a winning, high production, winning day every single day? Well, guess what? You got to win the morning. Do something each and every single morning to win the morning, to set you on pace, to put you on track, to create the right enthusiasm, to create the right energy, to create the right confidence for the day to win the day what is it that you're doing in the morning here's what i'm going to tell you don't do this don't wake up in the morning and say what can i do to win the morning so i can win the day your day begins the night before my friends every single night answer the question what is the most important thing i can do as soon as i wake up tomorrow morning so i can generate a fast victory and i'll tell you what the best victory is it's not a victory of generating a lead or a check or this or that is the victory of you against you you winning against yourself you not feeling the excitement or the want or the desire to go to the gym and or do a workout and then you push yourself to do it anyways that is a victory in itself, my friend. Following a morning routine every single morning, which most people never do, is a victory and sets up your day the right way. Next uh, point, final point. Seek knowledge from the agents you want to be like. Seek knowledge from the agents you want to be like. Who is your real estate hero? Not your real estate guru, your real estate hero. Who is your real estate hero? Someone from your marketplace or someone from across the country, someone that you only know of online. Who is that person? Seek their knowledge. You're watching this video on YouTube and hopefully you've already clicked the subscribe button and the notification bell and allow me the opportunity to be one of your heroes. Look, every question underneath the moon and the sun that you need an answer to to become a top listing agent and or a successful entrepreneur in any major field that you want to work in is available here on YouTube. Pick your hero, seek their advice and or hire a mentor. By the way, if you want to meet a lot of real estate heroes, a lot of people who are like-minded and a lot of people who are doing the work to become top agents and or already top agents, make sure you check out toplistingagentgroup.com, a free community where agents from all over the country come together, share ideas, wins, victories, strategies, marketing pieces, hacks, etc., all for free. I'll make sure I'll link it in the description. Guys, this is it. This is the best advice. This is the best tips and this is the best strategies that I can give you to become a top listing agent. So what I want you to do right now is watch the video one more time because the second time you watch it, you're going to pick up on something that you may have missed the first time around. Then I want you to take a look at your notes and on those notes, see which of these items actually apply to you and which ones don't. And the ones that don't, just cross them out. And the ones that do, circle them. Once you circle them, I want you to prioritize them. One, two, three, four, five in the order of which you are going to tackle. After you do that, I want you to move it over into your schedule. Plug the time into your schedule to work on it. My friends, I look forward to playing as much of a role as I possibly can to help you become a top listing agent. Got a lot of free sources for you in the description below, so check that out. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.